Oh, that's really pretty. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello. Happy sunny day. Sorry, I'm like walking in almost like mud right now because I am actually on my way to the Rose Bowl flea market. It's actually the last one of the year of 2021 and I don't know necessarily how much footage I'm going to get with this surf with me, but I figured why not? I am not necessarily like really looking for anything except for like Disney stuff like Disney crew necks, Disney t-shirts. I've been going to Disneyland lately and I just realized I could probably have some more Disney stuff. I may not buy anything. I may buy stuff. I truly do not know. Also, sorry for the sun. It's definitely a sunny day. Can you believe it's like mid-December and it's a sunny day here in Southern California. I am actually meeting up with Jessica, which I technically slept over at her house, but we brought two cars, so that's why she's not with me right now. So I've already spent like a day with her and I wanted to go to the Rose Bowl, she wanted to go to the Rose Bowl. So we're like, let's let's just go. Oh, if you don't know what the Rose Bowl flea market is, it's just a really big flea market in LA. editing Alexa here to do a voiceover because I didn't talk to my camera once, like literally not at all. So I am here to fill in some gaps and to also just chat while I show you some cute things I found at the Rose Bowl. They did have a lot of Disney stuff. They definitely did, but I'm just so particular on how I like tuck in tops and crew necks. And a lot of times it ends up cutting off like the main graphic of the shirt. So I kind of had that in mind, but definitely a lot of cute crew necks. I mean, they're, they're gonna range from like 30 to $60 to be honest. So I also, you know, wanna make sure I really, really love something. Also found some Kugi sweaters. These were $150, like what? The Kugi sweater I'm wearing in this video, I got three years ago for $40. And now they're 150, literally blew my mind. I think we can all agree I have enough crew necks. I mean, I'm always down for a, another one, but I think after my closet clean out, I'm okay right now. So I tried to mainly focus on Disney t-shirts and it seems like that was my whole goal with going to the Rose Bowl flea market. And the fact that I, you know, spoiler alert, did not find any is okay. I'm not bitter, but I tried to go through as many t-shirts and like stuff like that since that was my goal. and. I don't know if I just like needed more caffeine or something because I was just not feeling like going through every single t-shirt at every single little stand. Also, there were a lot of sections that were like dedicated to Harley Davidson, which, you know, I always appreciate, but I didn't buy any. This Britney Spears uh, cutout, uh, I wanted to buy that. I don't know if I could have, but I, I very much wanted to. <laughs> I then found the snowman overalls, so tempted. Like I cannot deny how tempted I was to buy those. Some really cute dresses. I definitely would say the Rose Bowl has some really cute, I mean, obviously the t-shirts, but definitely dresses. This one, I was super like down to buy it, but it was so see-through. Like you can definitely even kind of see it. The last stand we went to had like these Winnie the Pooh crew necks right at the front. So I was like, okay, I, I need to take a look, but Alas, there was nothing that really caught my eye. 
Alrighty, so we are back home. It's been a couple of days. I realized I didn't really make an outro to the thrift with me portion. Honestly, I feel like I re I mean, I know I didn't make that much footage and I went back and forth if I was actually going to upload this video as a thrift with me, but I had a good time. It's the last Rose Bowl flea market of 2021. And this was actually the last time I was going thrifting in 2021. I do have a thrift with me still coming at the end of the month that I filmed at the beginning of the month. So it kind of has a little special like place in my heart. Now I ended up only thrifting two things but two things that I think are really pretty I did find like a good amount of like cute things but nothing was like calling my name so these pieces were calling my name which the first one is this beautiful black slip dress I went back and forth if I was gonna end up getting it because it was $40 and I even tried it on top of my sweater which didn't look very good but I wanted to get like an idea I guess what it would look like it didn't look good because obviously my sweater was like super chunky but it is this original Victoria's Secret. It is 100% silk and what really like drew me to it is just the little details that made it a little bit more interesting than just like a black slip dress and I would say for the past year or so I've definitely had my eye out for just a plain lawn black slip dress and although this isn't exactly what I was looking for the little again details just make it unique especially the bottom has this little like ruffle situation and I feel like lawn black dresses a lot of times can lose kind of not necessarily like their edge but they just don't look that interesting so with this it has those you know parts about it that make it look more interesting than just a normal black dress the lacing detail I didn't really realize it at first but it's kind of like this peach light pink color again it just adds something a little bit more interesting and basically anytime i go to the rose bowl or any type of flea market especially in la whenever i'm like making a decision on if i'm actually going to buy something or not i try to think about like can i thrift this like would it be possible for me to be able to thrift this and something like this i've been looking for for the past year so yes i totally could thrift something like this but it's taken me a year and i've yet to find the perfect one so the fact that i was able to try it on because obviously you can find stuff on depop but you don't know the way it's actually going to fit and then you also have to pay for shipping and like that kind of thing so i am just really excited about this and then you guys know i have been on my sweater vest game i swear this is the last sweater vest i'm going to thrift like this this is it this seals the deal i am good to go on sweater vests I, I feel like the reason why i really got into them and maybe a lot of people can relate to this of you live in a climate where it doesn't get that cold and i want to be part of you know the fall winter kind of just season but it's too hot to wear a sweater going for a sweater vest is literally perfect not saying that it's not warm like don't want to wear a sweater vest when it's 90 degrees but it helped me be able to wear sweaters when I couldn't necessarily wear proper sweaters. So this sweater vest, ah, it's so, so pretty. It's actually maroon. And you guys know I have talked way too much about my like love hate relationship with like bright, bright red, but maroon, I like. When I saw this, I was like, this is beautiful. It's amazing. I know I'm gonna wear it. Literally, I almost wore a sweater vest today. And I was like, okay, you literally wore a sweater vest in the last video. Like I have to, purposely make myself not wear a sweater vest because I would wear it every single day. I ended up getting it for $20, which I think is really, really good. And especially because the seller originally said it was 25, but at that point I only had 20. So I was like, do you have change for a 40? And she was like, do you have a $20 bill? And I was like, yes. And so she ended up just selling it for $20 to me. I can wear it by itself or I can kind of like layer it or something like that. The possibilities with the sweater vest are absolutely endless. <laughs> And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was a little bit shorter than some of my previous videos. Hopefully you enjoyed this little like smaller thrift with me. And of course, if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video because I do upload a lot of uh, videos related to thrifting. And if you'd like to keep up to date with me during the week, then you can follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. And I will see you guys on Sunday with a brand new sunny Sunday video. I hope you have a super sunny day. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!